Arthur, clean your room. Please like and subscribe. Mom, I can't find my bionic bunny, said Arthur. No wonder, Arthur's mother said. Look at all this junk. It's not junk, said Arthur. It is junk, she said, and I want you to get rid of it now. But how can I get rid of it, asked Arthur. Sell it, said D.W. You can make big money. Have a garage sale, said Mother, and have it today. D.W. helped Arthur carry boxes of junk outside. I've always liked your jolly jingle maker, said D.W. Can I have it? I'm selling it, said Arthur. Buster was the first one there. I can't believe you're selling this bionic bunny jet fighter, said Buster. I don't have a dollar, but I'll trade you my bionic bunny spy glasses. Your bionic bunny spy glasses, said Arthur. Okay, great trade. Buster ran to his house to get them. Then Francine came along with a wagon filled with comic books. My mom is making me get rid of these, she said sadly. Oh boy, cool cat comics, said Arthur. Wow, said Francine. Is that a real World Cup soccer game? Almost new, said Arthur. I'll trade it for your comics. All right, said Francine. News spread, and Arthur's friends all came with things to trade. Binky, that's so cool, said Arthur. What is it? My punching bag, said Binky. I want to trade it for your Sailor Sam ship. Good deal, said Arthur. Muffy showed up next. You've always liked my clubhouse flag, she said. Want to trade? Sure, said Arthur. Is this cute vest really yours, Arthur? She giggled. It's yours now, he said. It's never been worn. The brain came with a radio. It needs a little work, he said. I'll trade you my elephant mask, said Sue Ellen. Prunella traded her rock star poster. Fern had a typewriter that Arthur really liked. Arthur was happy. His old stuff was gone. D.W. ran to the garage. You didn't sell your jolly jingle maker, she said. But I got rid of all my other old stuff, said Arthur. I'll count your money, said D.W. Well, he said, I didn't really get money. But I got all this great stuff, said Arthur. If mom sees this, said D.W., you're in big trouble. You're right, he said, but what am I gonna do? I have a plan, whispered D.W. Later that day, Arthur's mother went to check his room. Arthur followed her up the stairs. He crossed his fingers and held his breath. Good job, Arthur, she said. You got rid of all your junk. Just then, they heard a big crash. They ran into D.W.'s room. Junk was everywhere. Dora Winifred, shouted Mother. What is this mess? It's not a mess, said D.W. It's business. Arthur is paying me rent, and he owes me a dollar. I don't have a dollar, said Arthur. But how about a trade? <laughs> and D.W. got the jolly jingle maker. <laughs> well, I hope... You like that Arthur story, and I hope you don't collect messes like that for your mother. <laughs> I love you guys. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.